favourite room in the whole house. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my house renovation project so far. This project has literally taken us like six months on a budget. We have done as much as we can and we've had so much help and it's been so amazing. But we are at a place now where I feel like I can actually share the progress with you, which I'm so excited about. It's going to be nothing to do with like styling because we haven't quite got there yet. But we can show you what we've done so far. Let's go. So I'm here at my house. I've been a little bit uh, about filming this video because like it is like not finished yet. But I want to show you guys like as much as we've done so far. So there will be like another video coming up where we talk about like the styling side of like the whole house renovation. But I wanted to just show you like what we've done so far because literally we had to transform the whole house to make it nice. This room will eventually be like a living room two type room. Um, so it's got like already got like the flooring and stuff like that down which we didn't really have to touch but this room we literally just had to repaint it um, and like just freshen it up a little bit because literally the walls was just like pink. As you can see it has gone a bit more minging just because as we're doing bits and pieces throughout the house like we had to have a room where like you know the off cuts pizza carpet can go. But anyway so we go through here and then through here is the kitchen. We are going to like replace like this whole kitchen. It just needed a bit of a refresh because we wanted to do like this whole house like on a budget because obviously newly married, don't have massive bank accounts. We were like obviously doing business. You guys know the vibes. We were like, how can we do this on a budget? So we literally painted our cabinets from that green color to the white colour, using like chalk paint and stuff like that. We bought these handles on Amazon for like £20 or something like stupid like that. Put them on to replace the minging knobs that we had. Like it was such an old dated kitchen. So we've literally just like repainted it. We've like kept all the tiles that like they had before. Because obviously one day when it all gets ripped out, we'll replace it with like nicer things and whatever. But for now, this is what we did, just painted it like white, keep it fresh. We also painted the floor because they were like disgusting, like brown. Ugh, it was just, it was minging. It was so minging that floor in. We just got like some £29 grey paint and like Ben in fairness just painted like the whole floor. It's not done yet, like obviously we haven't finished like styling and all that kind of thing, but we just wanted to show you where we are so far. Then in here is probably like one of the biggest developments. This is like the front door. This like hallway then needed a lot of work because we had like wallpaper everywhere. We had so many people help us, like thank you so much to all the people that did because we could not do this without them. They literally replaced doors, they helped strip wallpaper, like it was a mission to get it done. But this whole wall, like everywhere, it had like art tech ceiling, it had like wallpaper all over it. So we literally stripped this whole wall, like all the way up the stairs and things. And even like the wall behind, it was in such bad condition um, that we just had to have it all like replastered and things like that. Um, but now it like feels so fresh. And then we put a carpet on the stairs. And the reason we put carpet on the stairs is because obviously like a month in to buy in his house, we found out that the baby was on the way. So our original dream of like, you know, keeping them kind of like bare, stripped, woody, kind of disappeared when I realized that I'm gonna have one day a two year old running up and down these stairs and I don't want him to knock his new little teeth out. Now this room, we have like put some bits in as we've bought things, like it's needed a bit of a home. But this room was actually like on a slope. Um, it sloped down all the way from here, like all the way to that door. It was just like a huge, huge slope. So we had to like level the floor and dad, Ben, like so many people helped like a whole day to kind of like get the floor to a level so that it wasn't like sloping. Because literally you could put like a piece of salad tape on top and it would literally roll down. But yeah, this is like this room. So here again, like I just need a lick of paint. Our text job again on the ceiling because that was everywhere. Um, we like freshened up the radiators so they're not new. We literally bought some radiator paint and just like painted over those. Every single door was like 20 pound. 
um, and then obviously you have to buy all the bits but literally completely refreshed the whole place um, which was yeah sick I've actually loved doing this whole thing so upstairs again like excuse the echo because there is nothing up here but we had to do the ceiling like we had to replace all the lights and we actually put spotlights in so it's like proper nice proper fresh feel because before it was actually just like one little epoxy light which just was not a vibe um, so we had to hear like again wallpaper was everywhere so literally I would be like wallpaper and all along here it took like a whole week because we actually rented um, a wallpaper stripper which is basically like a massive steamer thing that you just kind of like put on the walls and then like we were scraping it all off and there was glue over it it was such a mess it was a mission but we got there so this room is the baby's room or going to be the baby's room this was actually just going to be like a room that we didn't even touch but then obviously a month in when we found that the baby was come in the plan had to change so in here again like stripped all the wallpaper like it was covered took it all off and then we had someone come in and plaster again the ceiling and then Ben's brother like laid all the laminate floor in he did all like the skirting boards that needed refreshing we could not have done this house without Ben's brother so thank you so much I'm gonna make it nice I will do a baby nursery transformation video but this is what it looks like at the moment. Then in here is going to be, again, excuse the echo, this is going to be like me and Ben's room. The reason I love this room is just like the light. Like it's just so just fresh in here. In this room, it's the same story, Artex ceiling, had to like plaster the walls, had to like take the wallpaper off. So this room again, big mission, just like every other room upstairs. Um, but yeah, the flooring, again, like, we just laid it, like, thankfully we had really good floorboards upstairs, which meant that the laminate just went down really nicely, there was no, like, levelling and stuff we had to do. My bedroom, I love this room, it's just so bright, it's so nice. And then in here is, girls, the wardrobe room. So this room, again, like, just needed, like, loads of wallpaper in, like, taken off. It needed replastering, the roof, like again, was disgusting full of that like um, oh, Artex stuff. Um, we've actually kept like the original floor that was in here, just because it was in like okay condition. So we will be replacing it so that it's like in line with like the rest of the house. But again, like, we just wanted to keep as much as we could on a budget. The money is tight. Now this room gives you an indication on like how much of a mess everything was until like the other day. It's gonna be like spare room slash office space for like me and Ben. But the reason I brought you in here now is so you can see like the reality of what we've been looking at. So like this this room still hasn't like been like addressed with the Artex situation. And it's the same with like the walls. So this is what I mean, like when you take like wallpaper or paint off it just ruins the walls so this room like still needs a lot of love but obviously i wanted to show you guys what it looks like because this is actually what the whole house looked like literally like a couple of months ago and then my favorite room in the whole house probably required the most like love because literally this room was horrific um, the bathroom. We literally gutted this place out. Like the toilet was here, like there was a bath like in the corner here. Just disgusting. Like there was like tiles and then on top of the tiles a wooden board and then on top of the wooden board even more tiles. The more we were hacking stuff off in this room, the more we were like finding things. So we literally had to take this room right back like to the bare like bones of the room we had to like replace basically the walls we had to replace all the floorboards underneath because they were rotten um because the shower like wasn't sealed properly so it just rotted all the wood underneath so it was like awful this bathroom like it was so bad ben's grandfather is a property developer or was a property developer so he like did a lot of the work in here to kind of like make sure that it was like done nicely it's 
sink is like my favourite thing in this room. We bought from an auction house the same as the toilet, same as the shower tray. So like the shower tray was like four, three, four pounds or something like that. Um, because we bought stuff like on auction. If you're renovating the property, like make sure that you're constantly keeping your eye out for like deals. In the shower, if I take you in here, we got this put in. This is like my favourite thing. I was like, oh my gosh, as soon as we have to get rid of the shower and like rebuild the wall, can we just do this? So I cannot wait to have like all my shampoos on here and like, oh, it's gonna be so nice. However, funny story, when we went to buy like this shower, and it is an amazing shower, like it's so big, but we didn't realise that you have them for showers and you have them for baths. So this is actually a bath one. You can actually see with this. A little tap for the bath right here. How much bet I'm gonna get stabbed one day by this for bin sort of thing. So we've been working on this property for like six months. And it's coming on, like obviously with like coronavirus, money, all that kind of stuff, it has taken us a little bit longer than we wanted it to, but it can't be helped. And when you're doing it on a budget, like obviously you gotta work within your means. So yeah, that's it. That is the home renovation so far. I'll obviously like pop like a couple of things in the description below as to where we bought stuff from, like some really good helpful like places that we went to for just like an idea of maybe what to use, what to spend. But basically, um, this is our house now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna be doing like a styling video once all my stuff comes and I can actually like make this place a home because at the moment it's still not very homey. Thank you so much for watching. If you want more from me then please subscribe to my channel below and if you want more everyday stuff then please follow me on Instagram at Karis Hardin and yeah, I will see you next time. Have a good day, bye.